from the Toledo Free Press joins us. Good and morning. we're talking about the, all the fall movies coming out. Yeah, there are a ton of fall movies coming out. And, you know, more than like 50 and, uh, and multiples uh, every few weeks. And so I tried to narrow it down to the films that I thought looked really good. Yeah. I even put Twilight on there, which we'll get to that in a in All a few right. minutes. But yeah, we can start out with The Perks of Being a, uh, a Wallflower. This is based on the novel written by Stephen Chbosky, who also directs the film, okay. and he wrote the screen ba screenplay from Summit Entertainment there. And this, uh, this first film on my list is out in limited release in two weeks, and this could be a keeper. It follows a shy high school freshman who is befriended by two seniors. Uh, one of which you will see here is Ezra Miller. He, he was in The Haunting. Uh, we need to talk about Kevin last year. And the other friend you may recognize is Emma Watson, who happens to be oh, his yeah. love interest. Aww. She played, of course, Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter series. And so they kind of help him, befriend him, and show him the ropes, get him to come out of his box. And uh, That's great. I think it could and be. Paul Rudd, I see, is one yes, of the Yes, he's in there as well. Yeah, so I think this one could be a keeper. Great. You never know, of course, uh, the trailers, the movie studios. Their yeah. marketing departments are paid to make these movies look good. Right. And they, it looks good. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that does look like something I think I would enjoy. Argo. Argo. Yes, Ben Affleck directs this okay. movie. He, you last saw him direct The Town and Gone Baby Gone. Mm -hmm. This is rated R, so this is for our, our older viewers this morning. Now, um, Ben stars in this with Brian Cranston and John Goodman, and it's based on a declassified true story from the CIA. It premiered last week to really good reviews at the Telluride Film Festival in Colorado. And essentially, it's an Iranian revolution reaches a boiling point, and Ben Affleck is brought in to figure out a plan to get six uh, Americans who are in this turmoil out. And of course, they find out, they kind of, uh, the government, the Iranian government finds out that these six Americans are trying to get out and so you're, so it could be, it could be kind of thrillish. And, and I, I love think it Brian looks Cranston, good. I love Brian yes, from Breaking yes. Bad. He's and so I think good. John Goodman looks really good in this as well. Awesome. All right. Flight. Yes, Flight um, comes out November 2nd, so we're jumping ahead, but still you've seen, if you go to the movies, you've seen uh, the trailers for this. Buzz has been building about this Denzel Washington-led drama about a pilot who miraculously lands a plane, but all eyes are on him um, afterwards as well in a not-so-good way when it is revealed that he could have had alcohol in, uh, oh. in his system while piloting the plane, which is not so good. As you see, yeah. his red eyes, he's not quite sure what happened. And so uh, he saved the plane from crashing, but it, it could be it could yeah, be a good drama. He's so good. Yes, um, other people in this movie: uh, John Goodman as well, Don Cheadle, Oscar-winning uh, actress uh, Melissa Leo, and this is from the Oscar-winning director Robert Zemeckis. He did Castaway, Contact. He won the Oscar for Forrest Gump. Mm, wow. He did the Back to the Future movies. So. When, when you have that formula of him yeah, and a lot of big names there, yeah, and also the screenplay by John Gaddis, who did uh, Real Steel, I think you have a combination for um, for a good movie. And like I said, we we just see the trailer. So, yeah. so but if you put a good formula together, it could be. It looks Absolutely. to be a good movie. All right, and Skyfall. Yeah, the next week. I, I mean, it's just like boom, boom, boom yeah. in November. Skyfall is the latest 007 James Bond movie. Oh, okay, it looks okay. really good. Daniel Craig is back, and I'm betting some great action sequences and possibly a really good movie. They, I mean, they put enough money and yeah. uh, uh, and star power in this. I just saw Judy Dench Judy there. Dench, yeah. Javier Bardem is playing the uh, villain this time. Ray Fiennes yeah. is also in it. Albert That's Finney. Good. And once again, this is from Oscar winning Sam Mendez. He takes over the reels and he won the Oscar for uh, American Beauty. So mm -hmm. the, the only thing we know so far about this is Bond's loyalty is to M is tested as her past uh, mm -hmm. comes back to haunt her. That's pretty much the only line we have. Entertainment Weekly did a whole issue about it, but they really couldn't reveal too much, oh, which that's kind of that's nice good. for movies yeah, not to nice. know. No, I know everything in the trailer. Exactly. All right, James. Well, we are out of time. We didn't get to get to um, The Hobbit and Twilight, but we'll definitely we can talk skip, about that. We can skip we'll the Twilight any day. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, thank you so much. No you always problem. know so much about everything we just And I'll have this full list at ToledoFreePress.com slash movies. All right. Perfect.